Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're new to the channel and you haven't already subscribed, um, please do so. I definitely appreciate you for doing that. We're going to be talking about the Google Pixel 4a. This has been released in 2020 in August, and it's been at least 10 months now since this device was on the market and was initially released. So the depreciation of this phone is, is zero at this point. It was released at that price point of $349 on the website, the official website for the Google website. And when I picked mine up, I got it from their official website. So they were offering it at that price at the time. So I definitely thought that was pretty cool. It's also at the same price right now. I checked Amazon, it was still 350. You could also get it renewed as well. So this device won't depreciate in value, but I'm gonna talk about 10 reasons um, why you know the Google Pixel 4a is underrated. And that's the first reason you're going to spend your money on it and it's not gonna you know cut down in price uh, a year after it's still the same amount of money that it was when I first purchased it. I have the Caseology case on here. It's got dual texture to it. It's got three different layers of texture. This does have Gorilla Glass three protection as well. So I do like the feel overall feel of this device, but the some of the other reasons why I like, why I think the Google Pixel 4a is underrated is the lightweight, small, compact compact feel in the hand. So this device is actually a smaller device that is on the market right now. And there aren't a lot of phones on the market that are under six inches. So we're looking at a 5.81 inch display on this thing. It does look good. It has a 1080 by 2340 pixels per inch on here. It's full HD. It's got 444 pixels per inch as well with a punch hole cut out right on the left hand side of the screen. And it has an OLED panel on here. So I wanna kinda of talk about the panel in a little bit, but I still wanna kinda of go over the feel in the hand, which is crazy. So number one thing is feels really good in the hand, it's lightweight. And this device is lighter than any other phone that you probably will see on the market for this you know, amount of money. It's 143 grams of weight. Most devices are at least 200 grams of weight. So it's, they cut, you know, really, they cut a lot of weight out on this device. You would be surprised when you're, when you're using this device, it definitely feels a lot lighter than other devices that I've used. So like you may want to put a case on there just to add some buoyancy to it, kind of weigh it down a little bit as well. So I definitely like the overall weight. The back is matte. It has a matte black finish on the back of it. And uh, you have a rear fingerprint sensor on here. So they don't, they didn't put a facial recognition sensor on there. That was something that I wish they did. Mint green power button on the bottom of that is your volume rocker, which all the buttons on here, if I don't know if you can hear that, they sound extremely good when you're using the buttons. It has a nice uh, feed, uh, sound feedback, or I'm not sure what you would call that. You could hear the click on there and it just sounds like a typewriter key or something, 4G on here. But yeah, there's no SD card on here. So I just wanna let you know that you don't get an SD card on here. You don't get wireless charging. You don't get water resistancy and uh, Another one of the things that I do like about this device, obviously it's it didn't depreciate in value. It, the price is gonna remain where it is right now for a long, I think a long time. It's also got some pretty good, some really great cameras on this device, but we'll, we'll get into that in a little bit as well. So I definitely like the protection. It has Gorilla Glass 3 on the front, plastic back on the on the on here as well now another reason why this phone is underrated is that camera is a single camera and it's a 12 megapixel so by made by sony and through their google software google has managed to make one of the best camera softwares on the market now the portraits on this device are not perfect by any stretch of, of the imagination if you have uh, an earring in your ear a headphone or something like that i did notice that on the edges the background and the foreground sometimes interfere with each other. So I did notice that, but the, the good thing is that when I'm using this device, I have the smart lock. So you can 
use the smart lock to just, it, it unlocks. So I don't always have to enter my fingerprint on the back of it as well. So we're getting those stereo speakers, top and bottom. The sound signatures of those stereo speakers on this device sound extremely crispy. The sound that it emits from these speakers is always punchy. And I'm always surprised because it's such a small device and it's 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 really small in the hand. And it's, I'm really surprised the sound that comes out of this device. So let's just do a quick audio sample. This device is also capable of emitting aptX or aptX as well as LDAC. It's it, it supports those Bluetooth technologies because it has the Bluetooth 5.1 on here. So I just want to throw that out there that it does have all your navigation like GPS, AGPS, GLONASS, Blado, Galileo, and QZSS, which are all if you're not sure what I'm talking about, they, they're all navigation that's supported on this device. So you're gonna be getting some of the best navigation on here as well. That's another reason why this is device is underrated, underrated because this has a couple of more GPS sensors that other devices don't have. So you will be very accurate when you're using the Google Maps. Navigating from place to place on the maps, it's, it's, it's built by Google, it's made by Google. So that will make it even more streamlined when you're using the maps with those added supported navigation softwares. We're also getting some pretty good performance. We have the Snapdragon 730G on here. So it does have a really good processing chip. It's coupled with 128 gigabytes of internal storage. And we do have six, six gigabytes of RAM on here. So I have six gigabytes of RAM. So as far as the overall engine under the hood, it's, it's, extremely quick extremely snappy it's extremely pleasant on the software and 60 hertz for the display oled so to be able to see this even in daytime under the sun and things like that so i definitely like how that looks in daytime as well we're also getting the latest softwares on here so this does have android 11 at this point we do have beta 12 but did you guys know that android q had no dessert name that was the first Android system update to not have a dessert and then that Q was blank, but now we're on red velvet This is this is actually the R and it's called the red velvet uh, Software so I think that's pretty interesting that they called it that the red velvet software on here as well So I'm, I'm getting hungry right now. I don't know about you, but That is pretty crazy that they do give you software updates at their at their earliest convenience, meaning that you won't have to wait for software updates to come out on this device because they're pretty much gonna give you those really quickly. They're gonna throw those your way really fast, really quick, so you won't have to worry about that as well. So besides the the, the, the OLED panel, which gets really bright besides the light fit in the hand and the software uh, that comes on this device, the build and the buttons, the stereo speakers, I want to talk about the stereo speakers. Those get really loud as well. I did touch on those for a little bit, but you're getting one in the top and you're getting one in the bottom. And I, I really like the sound quality of those. And also the performance, like I said before, with that six gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of internal storage, we also do have a really good processing chip where you can play Fortnite on here. I managed to play Fortnite on here and have other things like NFC on this device, which is crazy. So a lot of devices won't give you the NFC for this amount of money, but you're getting that eight megapixel front facing camera, which is gonna give you some really, it's gonna deliver some really good performance on the portrait and barometer is on this device, as well as the gyroscope, as well as the accelerometer and the light sensor, as well as the fingerprint sensor. I, I wish they put an IR blaster on here to control your electronics, but we don't have that. We don't get that on there. so. We also do have an eight millimeter nanometer processing chip, which is clocked in at 2.2 gigahertz. It's really smooth, it's really quick, it's really fast, and a punch hole notch, which looks really good on that OLED panel. So the, the, the panel gets really bright, the performance is good, the build, the buttons, the feel of this device is really good. We also have no depreciation after a year and it's it's solid it has a really nice feel in the hand you're also getting all your software updates 
the texture is matte black, which is one of my favorite textures of all time. So these are generally the reasons why the Pixel 4a is underrated. It's only a year old, but it has the latest system software updates. It's got that red velvet software like I was talking about. Uh, red velvet cake is what they call it. And it's an Android 11, but we also do have a, uh, a beta for Android 12 that I didn't download. So I'm, I don't want to get any bugs on this device, but I did check the system updates on here. And I recently got was up to date. I'm on June 5th right now. I'm on June 5th as far as the software updates. And when it comes to my storage, I still have 87 gigabytes free as well. And as, when it comes to the battery on this device, I've been using it two hours screen on time. Last time I charged it was 21 hours ago, 45% right now. So a full day of uh, use on this device that I was getting. And we also do have 11 hours to go on here. So I definitely think that's pretty cool uh, with this device. It's very underrated in my opinion, those cameras, the speakers, the OLED panel, uh, everything on here is just screams uh, long-term usage and long-term quality. You're also getting that Gorilla Glass to protect it as well. And like I said before, just a really good small form factor that 5.81 inch just feels extremely good on here. No notification light, no wireless charging. No, it's it's got, it's got pretty decent charging speeds on here. I can't front. NFC is on here, but that suede material, really light body, but I'm gonna get right back with you. I'm gonna show up in the comment section. I'm also gonna show up real quick for the next video. So I appreciate you guys for locking in and getting subscribed and notified, ringing the bell as well. That means a lot for me. I definitely appreciate you for, for taking care of that for me, for doing that and contributing to the channel and showing your support and love as always. So I'm gonna get right back with you. I'll meet you in the comment section right now. And uh, I'm gonna show you some love down there. And I'm also gonna show you some support. Um, I'll check you guys later, peace.